Hello, boys and girls, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be working on word problems once again. However, our problems that we're gonna be looking at are comparison word problems that require division, and we're still gonna to continue to use bar models to solve them. So if we're talking about multiplication and division, those are inverse operations. You might think about fact families, basically, any number that can be multiplied two numbers together to get a product, you can take that same product and divide it to get a quotient. So they all work together as a family. So multiplication and division use the same style of bar models, just like addition and subtraction do, because multiplication and division are inverse operations and addition and subtraction are inverse operations. So when we're looking for a total and we have equal groups, we learned in previous lessons that we need to multiply. Now, if we have a total and are either trying to determine how many groups or how much is in each group, we're going to need to divide. So there's where our difference is. If we're looking for our total, we'll multiply. If we have a total, we're going to need to divide. Keep that in our mind as we try some of these problems. So there's also keywords that we commonly see in word problems that tell us either to multiply or divide. In multiplication, we might hear times as many, twice as many, and equal groups of. For dividing, we might hear how many times as many, how many equal groups, or how many whatever the thing is you're talking about. So notice you'll hear how a lot. That's a key word that you hear a lot in division word problems. So let's look at an example. In this example, it says Ari bakes 24 cookies for her friends. That is four times as many cookies as she baked for her family. How many cookies did she bake for her family? So let's think about this here. We have Ari baking cookies. We know she makes some for her friends and some for her family. So let's start with that information. We have family and friends. Those are the two people that Ari's made cookies for. Notice I didn't put Ari in here because that's not what we're trying to figure out. We're only comparing how many they made for the family and how many for the friends. When I go back and look through my information, I see that she bakes a total of 24 cookies for her friends. So we know her total is 24. Since that is our total, I put that as our bottom number. So our bottom, num bottom number is going to be our total. And we know our total is 24. Now we say that is four times as many cookies as she baked for her family. So if I have four times as many, that means I'm going to take the 24 and I'm going to break them into four groups. So now I have my four boxes above. Does this look similar to our multiplication bar model? It does. Remember in multiplication bar models, we broke a total up. We had different equal groups that made up our total. Now we have our total and equal groups, but our missing question is how many cookies does she bake for her family? So that's where our question mark lies. Now, if you recall, when we did our multiplication problems, we knew the number that was here and that number repeated in each group. Now you see this is a question mark that would make these question marks in each one of those boxes. So our problem that we're going to have, we're going to have our total and we're breaking them into four groups. So that tells us we're going to have 24 divided by four will give us X. And we know that 24 divided by four is six. So Ari baked six cookies for her family. That's how we would solve that first problem. Let's look at another problem. Leighton has 25 books. Ari has five books. How many times as many books does Leighton have than Ari? All right, so we have Leighton is our total. We know Ari has five books, and we're trying to find how many times as many books Leighton has. So that means our times as many is going to need to be with Leighton. Yes, because he has our total. So we're going to compare. Ari on top, 
Leighton's on the bottom because he has the total. Then we can include Leighton's total of 25. We also can include Ari's five books. And we're going to need to figure out how many groups we can break into Leighton's books so that they would be equal groups as Ari. So we don't know how many groups we have. I do know though that I can turn this into a division problem. I have 25 as my total. I have five in each group and my question is how many equal groups? So my equation is going to state 25 divided by five equals X. And X is gonna be how many equal groups? When I solve that, I know that 25 divided by five is five. So therefore, Leighton has five times as many books as Ari. That means we would break this into five groups. If I was to turn that around into multiplication, I could check my work by knowing that five times five equals 25. So we know that we will need to divide when we have a total and are looking for either how many times as many, how many groups of, or how many in a group. Those are our keywords that we're looking for in division. I hope you found this video helpful. If you so, please click like below and please subscribe for more videos and lessons from Math Maniac, fourth grade math.